scarf I'm using has a different design on both sides which can help when creating different looks. However, a one design scarf will still work perfectly with these looks. There are two important steps to remember throughout this entire video. First, most of the time you'll need to make sure your scarf is in half. And second, you may need to practice this bowing method to achieve a nicer looking bow. So here we're grabbing the right side, loop it over your finger. Now grab onto the left and also make a loop. Overlap the right side over the left and put the left into the hole that is created at the top. Pull and secure, and now you have your bow. Now let's begin with our first look. With the scarf in half, loop it through the hole. The side should be around three inches. Now you can start braiding the three sections. Make sure you're grabbing and securing it tightly. Once the loop is on the left hand side, loop the right section into the loop and pull to secure. Here I'm twisting the right strand to keep the pink side in since I want the bows to be blue. This is an optional step. Now I'll be doing our bowing technique. I always secure the bow first, even if it doesn't look perfect. Then I take the time to adjust and fix as needed to get the desired look. And the first look is complete. This almost looks like you've put a keychain on the bag. Now on to look number two. Loop the entire scarf through the loop until it is halfway. Now grab the section on the left and loop it back through until you reach a bow of your desire. Now I'm going to twist the scarf because I want the blue to be showing on both sides. Then loop it through until the bows are the same size. Now grab and loop through again and pull it under the hoop. Make sure you grab onto your bows before securing so it doesn't come loose. Now with the right section, you can either twirl it under or over depending on what side of the toy scarf you want to use. and loop it all the way around to the other side. Slip the edge into the scarf to secure. And that is the second look. This one looks super elegant, but is one of the easier methods in my opinion.
Every time I have to untie the looks, it makes me so sad. Now look number three. You want to make sure you're using the halfway point of the scarf and loop it all the way around on one side with both sections. Once finished, you can secure by tying a knot. And again, we are using our bowing technique. Don't worry about how the bow looks initially. Secure first, worry later is my motto here. You can see here I didn't bother turning the twilly scarf, so now one side is blue and the other side is pink. You can play around and experiment with different looks. And the third look is complete. This look is very similar to look two, however the bow is daintier, giving a cute aesthetic and vibe. For look number four, loop the scarf halfway through the loop and secure with a knot. Now you're going to use the bowing technique again to secure your first large bow. Create another small bow using the same technique. Again, secure the bow first, then adjust as needed. Now you have a small bow on top of the big one. This look definitely takes more practice as a smaller bow is a lot harder to tie due to the size. You can also leave it as one big bow which I think looks quite elegant as well. So this is two looks in one. Now on to our last and final look. You want to loop the scarf halfway and using the two sections, twist until you get about three quarters of the way down. Now grab the section on the left and loop it through the other side and secure with a knot. Make sure to tighten so it doesn't come loose. Now using the same bowing technique, tie a small bow and adjust until you get your desired bow. I like having the pink side peep through on the right with this look so it doesn't blend in with the braids and that completes the final look. I really adore this because the scarf imitates a chain and ties in the entire bag instead of keeping the scarf on one side. I 
hope you enjoyed this video. I also often use these scarves for hair and clothing looks. Let me know if you're interested and I can share those with you as well. Thanks for watching!